What's up, you too? Man, let me tell y'all what happened to me, dog. So, lately my damn truck been acting like it didn't want to dang on, stay on. Like, I can be riding on the road and I hit a bump and try to cut off. I, I've been trying to figure out what the hell going on with it, man. Shit, you know what I mean? So, finally my own, me and my own, my own damn came up with shit. Hey, check starter. Check starter why it might be a bad connection somewhere. So, check your starter and check your batteries. Just check the starter this morning. And then I checked my batteries. I had a damn loose, I had a loose on battery cable, tightening on up, riding down the road. Seemed like everything was okay, man. Shit, I shit, didn't try to cut off on me no more. So hey, that saved some money. You know what I mean? From damn having to go to the shop, hooking up, hooking up to the computer, find out what's wrong. So going down the road, man. Shit, apparently, man, uh, my damn brakes need adjusting, or I got, or I had a damn bad brake turn because. I had to fucking, I had to tell somebody to move up my damn way so I can pull out a truck stop or whatever, and I'm in a rush. Well, we ain't in a rush. I was just fucking tired. And I ain't tired. It's just too fucking early, I guess. So I forgot to damn push in my damn tractor brakes, and I've been riding down the road with them like that. And shit, I start seeing the sparks. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Maybe one of my scrap loose. So I'll pull over in a minute. Seen the damn spark again, so goddamn car blow the horn and damn played the lights and shit. So I bur pulled over. First chance I got. As soon as I pulled over, damn burp seen boom damn fire coming from the damn tires. So I checked, you know what I'm saying? I got her, I took the truck off, got the fire extinguishers. I got had, had two of them, sprayed them, that didn't work. Dash water on that put it out. Even dash with some damn some milk. You know what I'm saying? Help you know what I'm saying? Just just trying any fucking thing, bro. At that point, just trying to save my truck. Like when, when I fired, when I damn sprayed them fire extinguishers, man, I had hopped out, bro. I just started snatching out my truck. I was like, damn, I'm out of option now. They be still on fire. So then I just fucking, like I said, I just grabbed my damn, grabbed the water and the milk, throw it in on there, and everything worked out fine. So I put the shit back in the truck. And um, you know, man, I'm, on, you know, what I'm saying, calling tow truck. They tell me they're gonna be about a couple thousand dollars with the tow parts and. You know what I'm saying? Labor and all this shit. I'm like, bro, I ain't got a couple thousand dollars. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hell, I'm broke. Shit. I'm fucking broke. I ate five hundred dollars to kill my ass. I'll be honest with y'all. I'll be honest with the whole goddamn everybody watching YouTube right now. I am broke. I'm still trying to recover from eighty five hundred dollars. I'll be honest with you. But anyway, um freaking so I'm Fire, some of the parent that car called the fire department. So by the time I put the fire out, they pulled up, whatever. They pulled up. As soon as I put it out, I was like, shit, I'm put it out now, bro. Whatever. So they uh, blocked the road off and everything. Kept asking me about calling somebody to come tow me and shit. I'm like, bro, I can't afford no tow bill. I can't, I can afford the tow bill. But with the money I got right now, I can afford the tow bill. But I can't, I won't be able to afford no goddamn parts and service. So I was like, look, I'm 11 miles from a TA. I need to figure out how I can damn at least limp over here. My brakes. Brakes on that damn brake, my damn. Just that one side of brakes gone. Just that one damn set of brakes right there on my damn, on my drive tire on the left side and in the front. It's gone. They're gone. Okay, cool. I know they done probably, you know what I'm saying? Probably won't be able to move it. Airbag pop. That's gonna be leaking air like a motherfucker. Gonna be a bit of air pressure. Tire gone. I can limp on the tire. Cool. Bring the fuck the tire back limp. But anyway, so I called you know, I'm the whole time on the phone my daddy. So he told me it's a damn pin. It look like a long, it like a like a two, it like a little three inch screw, like about three, about three inch screw, long ass screw that's in the middle of your brake chamber. You know, not on the clamps. You got cut the brake chamber, got two clamps. It's a middle screw in the it's a screw in the middle of your brake chamber. It's like a long ass screw. It's a pin. Well, it's got a nut in the washer on there. You take that nut in that washer off. That's what I had to do. I take that off, slide it out. Sometimes you might have to beat it out a little bit if it gets still stuck in there. Whatever. Just get it out. You're gonna pop the damn flap on that on the front of that thing on brake term. It's a little rubber flap. You just pop it off. It's gonna be a hole right there. This brake, this damn screw on top of the little pin, it got two little small little prongs sticking out of it. You're gonna stick that part inside the brake chamber. Wiggle it around until it catch hold to something. Once it catch hold, what you wanna do is you wanna pull it back. Make sure it's actually caught hold so you can't pull it out. You're gonna put that washing that nut back on there. Get your wrench. Keep tightening, keep tightening, keep tightening, keep tightening, keep tightening, keep tightening, keep tightening. What you're doing, you're pulling. What you're doing is you're shutting off the damn, you're shutting off the damn, that, um, the air pressure to that brake kind of whatever you want to call it. Just back, they call it, what do you call it? Uh, back, bagging that brake off. That's, you're backing that brake off. 
all you're doing is basically just making it so that that break there won't work. <coughs> you know what I mean? That's all you're doing. So just keep tightening to get tight all the way or to damn it get just real snug, real snug. You just feeling yourself like kind of scrugging a lot of damn tight. And that's when you know you know you're gonna do it right. So I did that part. Crack it up, dump the airbags because one of my airbags popped so hell. We leave my airbags inflated. Truck ain't gonna be in air pressure, so I did that. You know what I mean? Now, the whole while I'm trying to damn, uh, before I start out, the police officer asked me if I called anybody. He said, Well, tow truck's coming. I called tow truck. I said, Okay, okay, whatever. Shit. And I told him, I said, Look, man, I can't afford the tow truck. I'm about to limp, all right? So I don't see no working, I don't see no working, I don't see no working. I'm trying to hurry me make do it before the tow truck get there. Happened, accomplished, got it done. Everything worked out. Lumped on down the road. Pulled over about you know, five miles before the damn truck stopped. Checked it out. Hopped back in. Seen everything scraped, man. So I hopped back in and got gone, man. Shit. Now I'm sitting here waiting on them and then pull me in and shit. So, yeah. That's that's some do-it-yourself shit right there. That's some that's some shit that you need to know right there if you want to be on off. Got to ask Got to have some wrenches and everything else. Got to have, some, got to have the tools out there, bit, dog. Save you some money. Clearly. See, that saved me with about four, five hundred dollars from a tow bill. Limp my ass on over here. All I got to do is just pay for the damn parts and service over here. You know what I'm saying? So, did what it is. It's supposed to be an easy day to have a three hour drive down to Jaws from South Carolina, from North Carolina, whatever. Well, I was in South Carolina. I'm still in South Carolina. I'm about to have to add three more hours to drive. And then I can go home. So, but hey, it is what it is. If I can't get the load there today, I can definitely get it there tomorrow. And hey, it's all good. I'm going to be straight. So, what up? You know what I mean? Just comes with trucking, dog. I ain't even mad. I'm just happy and thankful that I was able to save the truck. Now I got to go buy another fire extinguisher, but it's all good. I already buy another fire extinguisher. They be scratching my head about trying to buy another fucking truck. Think about it. You know, so. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now, dog. Y'all be easing my own shit. I'm just gonna keep on sitting here waiting till the assholes pull somebody in, dog. Peace.